Walt Fink simulation of a generator shows how electromagnetic induction is used to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. And we can see that with this setup here that shows that there is some external force that is rotating this coil within the magnetic field. Now whether that is a hydroelectric power plant or a normal coal-fired power plant or a wind turbine, it is something external that is causing this coil to rotate within this magnetic field that we have here. As we can see, when the coil moves through that magnetic field, there is a change in magnetic flux which induces a current within that coil. We can see here as well by following one side of the coil that the current in that coil changes direction every 180 degrees. And so we use a split ring commutator to convert the alternating current in the internal circuit in the coil into direct current in the external circuit. As we can see here, the current in the external circuit is constantly flowing in the same direction. So we say that the split ring commutator converts alternating current in the internal circuit into direct current in the external circuit by means of a split ring commutator and carbon brushes. We can see that the induced EMF ranges from a maximum to zero back to a maximum but does not change direction because this is a direct current generator. We can then replace the split ring commutator with a slip ring that then allows the alternating current in the internal circuit, which has not changed, to be converted into alternating current in the external circuit. It does that by maintaining contact with a certain side of that coil and allowing the carbon brushes to maintain that contact as it rotates. So once again, what we have here is we have alternating current in the internal circuit, which is now converted into alternating current in the external circuit. And we can see that here by seeing that the current ranges from zero to a maximum, back to zero, and then changes direction to a negative maximum before returning to zero.